the four horsemen of three over four. Okay, let's take a look. Right here we have this diagram. The first one says 75%, and this one says three over four, and this one is 0 0.75, and this one's missing. Well, firstly, this picture shows three over four because we have four equal parts, and then one, two, three, three of them are filled in, and this one's missing, so this picture shows three over four. It's kind of like this. You have a waffle like this. This is my favorite picture when I draw a circle with four parts. You take this, this, and that. And this is how people usually do fractions, huh? This right here shows three over four, three parts out of the total four. So that explains this. So this is the first horseman, right? The first thing. Now we have, of course, three other ways to show three over four. I want to use this opportunity to kind of review how we can convert a fraction to its decimal and also to percent. Let's go like this first. 3 over 4 to 0 0.75. To do so, we do long division. What we are going to do is, you put the top number inside, which is 3, and you put the bottom number on the outside all the time. And remember, we cannot divide it by 0. If you have a 0 on the bottom, then no matter what you put right here, you can never make progress. It won't work. But anyways, 4 and 3. Does 4 go into 3? No, right? 0 times, so you put 0. And then you are going to line out the decimal point. 3 is a whole number, so it's technically 3 point. And any time you put a 0 after a decimal point, you don't change the value. So you can just attach a 0. And then you can go up. You have to go up and then line out with the decimal point. Now, 4 and compare that with 30, right? 4 and 30. How many times does 4 go into 30? 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. And then you subtract. 30 minus 28 is 2. You have a remainder, but we can continue if you just attach another 0. And this is okay, because remember, any time you put a 0 after the decimal point, you don't change value, so this is like 3.00, and then you just drop down the 0, so this is okay. Then you ask yourself, how many times does 4 go into 20? 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract, you get 0. When you see a 0 right here, you are for sure done. So this is equal to that. So 3 over 4 is 0 0.75. Now, to change this into percent, all you have to do is move the decimal point twice to the right, and then you attach that percentage symbol. So this is the same as 75%. Done. So this is how you go from a fraction to a decimal and then to a percent. You should always do it like that. Fraction to a decimal and to a percent. Now if you have another way around, let's see. If you have 75%, get to decimal first. To get a decimal, 75 is a whole number, it's like zero, it's like the decimal point here. Then you move the decimal point twice to the left, and then it's right there. So you have 0.75. And the zero before the decimal point doesn't matter, so you can attach the zero like that, that's fine. Now, how do you get to fraction? When you have point and then two decimal places, just divide it by 100. This is how I like to remember it. Just keep the 75 and divide it by 100. And in fact, when you have percent per hundreds, so it's like this tells you to divide it by 100 as well. Now, how do you reduce this fraction? You can think about it. 5 goes into 25, 5 goes into 75, 25 times. 5 goes into... 5 goes into, no, 15 times. 5 goes into 25. 5 goes into 75, 15 times. And then 5 goes into 120 times. And then 5 goes into 15, 3 times. And then 5 goes into 20, 4 times. So you can see the answer is 3 over 4. Math is hard sometimes.